So we kicked off the 2018 AIYD uh, official opening gala on the first day of the conference. This was the first official event of the conference and it was so special. Not only because we got to welcome officially our AIYD 2018 delegates, but the evening brought together the sponsors, uh, the supporters, and most importantly, our alumni from past years uh, to celebrate and open the 2018 event. So just to give you a sense of the quality of our alumni who have the 180, which will soon become the 210, 25% of our alumni have the title of either CEO, founder or chair. Two of our alumni are current sitting opposition leaders in state governments in Australia and half a dozen others are federally or state elected members of parliament in, in Australia and in India. Our alumni group includes five news anchors more than a dozen journalists, including two who have won Warpley Awards, which is the highest honour given to journalists in Australia. Our alumni have collectively played 69 rugby tests for Australia. It's one person, I know, but that's fine. Uh, 240 one-day internationals, and we've had three Olympians with a combined three Olympic gold medals. We require a neutral territory as a concept in our minds than a physical space to allow equitable dialogue. Australia India Youth Dialogue is one such example that has created a neutral territory for young leaders. We need more such initiatives and platforms that can make room for cultural diplomacy as a way of engagement and not as a point of discussion. In Mumbai, we finished off the AIYD 2018 with a bang. Uh, it was the closing gala dinner uh, at the ITC in Mumbai. It uh, brought together everyone who had been part of the dialogue in 2018 and also included some old friends, alumni, and of course our very important supporters. Most importantly, on the final night, we actually had the winner announced of the group challenge for 2018.